Good morning, everybody. Michelle here from Dragonfly Spirit, and it is Monday, the 26th of April, and I'm here to bring you your week ahead guidance. So, as promised on Friday, if you watched any of my um, deck reviews on Friday, I, <clears throat> excuse me, received the Spirit Song Tarot, and I love it so much that it is now here in your week ahead spread today, and I've decided to spread to pair it with another animal deck called the Spirit of the Animal Oracle. So we're going to see what the animals have to tell us this week. What does nature have to tell us? What what guidance do they have for us um, in the next for the next few days? If you're finding my channel for the first time, welcome. My name's Michelle and I am here to just bring you a little bit of guidance and insight onto into your week ahead. Please um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let's get right into it. So we're going to start with the Oracle card here, which is just going to give us the energy of the week to see what it is we can expect over the next few days. So here we have Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. Very interesting. So this week is going to be a week of healing. It's a time of rest and recuperation and allowing yourself to replenish your soul, to find out that you can cope. I mean, we've, we've had a tough year. Last year was just as tough, if not tougher. And sometimes we just need to take a step back and allow ourselves to time to heal. Allow ourselves the, the time that we need to um, recharge our batteries so we are able to deal with whatever's coming up next. That's really awesome. And I'm not a big fan of snakes. So when I see a snake, I don't see healing. But obviously, if you think about the um, emblem in the doctor's um, thing, it is a, a snake as well. So that is uh, that is really, really cool to, to have that and see snakes in a different light for sure. Let's see what's happening at the beginning of the week. Let's get this turned over. We have the wheel, which is an octopus. And the key words down here is change and possibilities. So in traditional tarot, this card is the Wheel of Fortune, and it's all about, um, yes, things changing, the cyclical nature of life. Um, you might be feeling as if you are wanting to jump off the wheel. You might be feeling like you're a hamster in the wheel going round and round and round, you're not getting anywhere, and things aren't changing. And you might feel like you want to, to jump off the wheel and give yourself time to recharge, which is fine. You, you know, you can do that. But I think for the next couple of days, what is important to remember is that um, life is cyclical. Things happen on an ongoing basis. So we have the highs and we have the very, very lows as well. And then in between, we have those times of change. And right now, we're in a time of change. We're in a time of healing. So I think for the next few days, if you're able just to take a moment to heal, take a moment to rest and recuperate and recharge, and to go with the flow over the next couple of days. Don't try to fight any of the changes. Don't try to go against any of the changes. Just go with the flow and adapt to what is coming your way. You'll see that there are so many possibilities coming up, but you have to remember to give yourself time to heal in that as well. So that's really cool. I like I like a little octopus. Right, let's see what's coming up for us midweek. Oh, we have another major arcana card. And it is the star, which we have a swan, and the key words are peace and healing, going back to the healing. So the star is all about finding your inner peace and allowing things from the past to, to be left behind and having your intuition guide you through the next few, few days. So yes, a time of healing, a time of finding your inner peace, a time of being one with who you are. And that goes quite nicely with your time of healing as well. So this week really is a time of um, maybe just taking your hands off the wheel for a little bit. I'm not trying to, to force things to happen the way you want them to happen, but just allowing things to move around you to carry on going, um, coming up with possibilities, coming up with new ideas, finding the peace within and allowing yourself time to heal. So let's have a look and see what we have for the end of the week. Another major arcana card. You see, I did not um, shuffle these, but I promise you I did. 
So number 20 is awakening, um, which in traditional tarot is judgment. And we have this beautiful peacock. Um, and the words here are renewal and enlightenment. Now, awakening, judgment, this is a time that you're realizing that you're on the cusp of something. Something great is about to happen. Something amazing is about to happen. You haven't completed things yet. You haven't finished the cycle you're on, but you're on the upward movement right now. So during this week, you have allowed yourself to heal. You've allowed yourself to go with the flow. You have followed your intuition. And you can see here with renewal, you're allowing yourself to see the new things. You're leaving the past behind. You're looking at things with new eyes because you've allowed yourself time, the healing that you need, and enlightenment on what is going to happen. The possibilities that are coming up are more prevalent for you, and you're able to move forward in a much easier way by leaving, maybe it's leaving things from the past that no longer serve you behind as well. Um, so yeah, so I think we've got a really nice week ahead. It's going to be a week of just taking a step back and going with the flow and seeing the new possibilities that are coming your way, but maybe not doing anything right now about those possibilities because you need time to replenish your soul, to replenish your body, to get your energy levels back up so that you can have this awakening and renewal at the end of the week so that you can see the potential that is right in front of you. So everybody, have a fabulous week. Don't forget to allow yourself time to heal from any issues that may be presenting themselves. And I hope you will have a fabulous week. But right now, I just want to give you a quick additional message to say that please look out for um, a new feature in tomorrow's video. So please tune in tomorrow for the video. It's going to be something different, something exciting, something that I haven't done on camera before. So we're going to um, give this a try. And hopefully if you enjoy it, you'll all give me a thumbs up and it will become a regular Tuesday feature. So I hope you all have a fabulous day and a fabulous week ahead. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.